This is Mike Tyson. Who is arguably the best heavyweight boxer in history. And one of the many things that he was famous for was his 20 inch neck that made him look freakishly big. And this is me. Now, I am no Mike Tyson by any means. But as one of my many goals in life, I want to get big. And so, for the past 30 days, I started training my neck every day, non-stop. Learned some new things, faced some challenges, and made some progress. Day one, starting at 16. Now the question you might want to ask, why should you train your neck? Two words, aesthetics and injury prevention. Okay, that was more than two words, but you get my point. The bigger your neck is, the more aesthetic and bigger you will look. Let me explain. This area right here is the single most important muscle groups you want to focus on if you want to look jacked, which includes your traps, shoulders, and neck. Take a look at this sad, skinny, grumpy looking guy for example. Oh, whoa, what? Bet you didn't see that coming, huh? And so, as you can see, your neck will make a huge difference in giving you that masculine, muscular look. Number two, injury prevention. Look at this guy right here. Does he look happy to you? Do you think he's happy? Fuck no. Why? Because he fucked up his neck working out. Strengthening the neck muscles will provide additional support and stability, which will help reduce the risk of injury, like getting hit in the head. All that impact is going to be absorbed by your neck, which is why professional fighters train their neck muscles. So yeah, it is true. Training your neck helps you take a punch a lot better. And so with all that yapping said, first I started studying and asked myself, hmm, how could I approach this? And came up with a solid plan. Ish. Number one, I would start with two warm-up sets. I would do seated neck raises, two sets of 50, and these, I don't know what you call them, neck turns or something. I would also do two sets of 50. And then I would start my real workout by doing laying neck raises, four sets of 40, reverse laying neck raises, four sets of 40. And the more I progress, the more I add more intensive exercises. Day one, started very light. No, I did not. I started strong because I was very excited. I started doing laying neck raises with weights. And after that, I used the neck harness, slammed the plate in there, and went in hard. The first five days I started very light warming up with no weights. For the next 10 days I trained relatively lightweight, focused more on having good form and doing a lot of reps. Day 15 I discovered the holy grail of neck exercises. Neck bridges. I started doing neck bridges and they were my favorite thing in the whole world. In fact I loved them so much I started doing them home at the gym late night at a random park. Life was great and then I just stopped for a while because of the pain. Day 20 to day 25. No more neck bridges and a lot of neck raises. Day 29 to 30. Back to doing neck bridges and plenty of neck raises and the neck harness. 16 and a half inches. In conclusion, my neck went from 16 to 16 and a half in about 30 days. Now I am still going to be training my neck, but this time I'm going to have a more comprehensive program. I'm going to be probably training around two to three days a week and uh, have a program this time. Yeah, that was it.